And this is where the identities were born. All right, people. This is the proof of the cofunction identity for cosine when we're using a right triangle to do it. So in order to do that, we look at this. The cosine of 90 minus alpha is the sine of alpha and y. To see why, we look at the right triangle down here. All right, so if I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the cosine of, whoa, whoa there. If I'm looking at the sine, let's put it in blue. You're my boy, blue. The <laughs> go, go gadget sine. If we're looking at the sine of alpha, sine is so, 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 so. So is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this one's going to be y over r. So that's not so far off of our conclusion over there. What do we need? We need to look at this guy. All right. Now, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle add up to be 180. This one's 90 degrees. So what's this one? This one up here is 90 minus alpha. 90 minus alpha. Why? Because if I add alpha to this, I get 90 degrees. And the 90 degrees plus that 90 degrees is going to be 180 degrees. And we're going to satisfy the interior angles of that triangle adding up to be 180 degrees. Now, let's look at the sine. Oh, no. The cosine. The cosine of... 90 minus alpha. Ka, 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 ka. When we're looking at our right triangle trig, ka is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So I take a look. What side is adjacent to this one, meaning next to? Well, that one is next to. And then that is the hypotenuse for ka, 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 pa, pa, ka. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So we go and we look the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So then this is y over r. So wait a minute. The sine down here uh -huh, is y over r and the cosine of 90 minus alpha is y over r. So it's not so far to suggest that this one is the same as that one. And it has been shown.